Hello, thank you for choosing to view this video on what's new in VSS 2010. Several new features and models have been added to this new release. And as always, the majority of the new features added to VSS are a direct result of customer feedback. So let's go into the details. A couple of new models have been added to the RF blocks category. The phased array block was added keeping in mind the needs of radar designers. Uh, so let's look at some of the details of this block and move on to the next slide. The block is used to inform VSS that blocks following it represent separate channels in a phased array receiver. The block can be used to measure noise figure, power, gain, IP2 and IP3 of a phased array antenna. You can pass the signal power as is to all channels, or you can split the signal power per channel. And the thermal noise is uncorrelated between the channels. There is now a nonlinear measurement data interchange format model in VSS, or M MDIF block. You can create a text file manually using any text editor or with automated tools capable of producing MDIF files as an output. The MDIF block allows the importing of S parameter and noise figure data, which varies with frequency and with one or more named variables. It is designed to work with P to D files and is capable of reading most MDIF files that contain AC data and noise data. The digital frequency divider supports only the time domain simulator. It does not support RFB or RFI. In the time domain, it produces the corresponding spurs and can also be used as a fractional end divider. The frequency multiplier now supports up to times 11. In previous releases, it supported only up to times 5. Cascaded noise figure now supports the computation of noise figure using a reference input noise temperature of 290 degrees Kelvin, regardless of the actual input noise temperature. This is the IEEE definition of noise figure calculation. TE is the equivalent input noise temperature. T source is the temperature at the input of whatever you're measuring cascaded noise figure over. Perhaps you would want to use 290 degrees Kelvin as a reference if you're measuring cascaded noise figures starting from, say, after a preamplifier, where the noise at the output of the amplifier is greater than 290 degrees Kelvin. RF budget analysis noise modeling is improved. Branched paths, such as a quadrature hybrid image rejection mixers and LO noise modeling, are now supported. Image noise and cascaded mixer topologies is now supported. Noise modeling under compression now includes an additional options. The noise port parameter determines whether the block's thermal noise is generated at the input port or at the output port in RF budget analysis simulations. This primarily affects the behavior of the noise generated by the block when the block is in compression. For more information about the noise parameter, please read AMP B Element Help along with section 3.2.2 .2 of the VSS modeling guide. Uh, VSS blocks that have a random seed parameter can now be set to automatically use a different random seed for each time the simulation is simulated. Uh, you might use this feature to do a statistical analysis of BR results. VSS now supports text data file sweeping. Uh, to see how to do this, please view the corresponding video on AWR TV. Under the uh, new block category, uh, blocks have been added for uh, turbo decoding and uh, convolutional encoding. Under signal processing, there's a discrete Fourier transform block as well as the inverse discrete Fourier transform. And there's a peak detector block. Under X libraries, you'll see some new models that have been added to the uh, LTE uh, library. 
a new LTE receiver sensitivity test bench is now available. In previous versions, we supported all the uh, transmit type of measurements, such as ACPR and EVM simulations. VSS MATLAB blocks uh, now support a start command, which is run only once each simulation at the start of the simulation. In the previous version of uh, VSS, only a load command existed. The load command is executed at the start of each simulation sweep. Uh, thank you for watching this video once again, and if you have any more questions about VSS, please don't hesitate to contact your local um, sales manager, or please uh, go on our website and uh, read the corresponding data sheets.